Am I the asshole for refusing to attend my friend's wedding because she didn't invite my significant other, claiming she forgot to include him on the guest list? This is a throwaway account. So I, 28 female, have been friends with Lynn, 29 female, since meeting in college. And despite our different views, we have always been close. Lynn recently got engaged and as she began planning her traditional and somewhat conservative wedding, I knew there might be some challenges. When the wedding invitations arrived, my heart sank as I noticed that my significant other, Jake, 30 male, wasn't included. Concerned, I called her, hoping it was a mistake with printing or something, only to hear her say, Oh, I totally forgot to include Jake on the guest list. But you can still come, right? I hesitated, knowing that the issue wasn't just an oversight. Jake is transgender and I was aware of Lynn's more Republican views on gender and relationships due to the fact that for years we have specially argued over Jake being trans. I knew that she felt it was unnatural for people to stray away from the gender they were born with and I did feel that was the deeper motivation. I explained how important Jake is to me and that excluding him felt like a rejection of our relationship. Lynn brushed it off, claiming that they were already over the guest limit and didn't want to complicate things. I knew this was untrue because she herself told me weeks prior that she wasn't limiting the amount of people that could attend. Unable to go with Jake, I made the difficult decision to skip the wedding. As the date approaches, Lynn reached out again, asking if I reconsidered. I stuck to my decision, trying to convey the impact her exclusion had on him and me as an extension due to the fact that I was not willing to do it slide that she deliberately left him off the list. Now, our mutual friends are divided, with some accusing me of making it about politics and others supporting my decision to stand up for my relationship. Am I the asshole here? Yes, I should have clarified this earlier. She has donated her kidney to me in the past, and she did help me while I was grieving the death of my mother. Those saying I should cut her off have a valid opinion, but I do also think if there is a room to educate her instead, that could also be a good path to take. 